First one, Aorn, great read. How would you adapt pitch anything to the online space where pitch can't happen with real life interaction? So I get this question all the time. How do I apply this to online? Maybe we'll go to the whiteboard, talk about some of the quick principles. So here's your website. So when I think about pitch anything, you, you know, you sort of have above the fold. There's a lot of work you have to do here. I can't tell you, I have no idea what your website is, exactly what to write, but I can tell you this has to be no cliches. And I don't like these rhetorical questions. How would you like to make more money? How would you like your company to run better? How would you like a more efficient process for accounting. I think uh, a lot of people say, hey, ask questions to engage people. I think they're rhetorical questions and they're, uh, you're looking down the nose at the potential buyer. I think here, for the first one third above the fold is what I would call the point of entry. For the first one third above the fold, what's the point of entry? That is your big idea. That's something big and it's intriguing. If you, that gives you two thirds to uh, talk about your uh, product and value proposition. So, what are the things you're going to talk about still above the fold, right? It's not information, but it's the uh, problem that you address. So, big idea, problem, and then as you start moving, into the fold line, the solution. That's very different from what most people do. So what most people do is they don't do this point of entry, they don't get this big idea. They lead off with the solution.